So we've got a cichlid tank here at St George Children's Ward in the hospital. Um, the tank that I'm going to do up. Um, well, another tank that I'm going to do up. It's got some Texas cichlids in it. It's got a looks like some sort of crossbred peacock, cross zebra. Who knows what it is? Got a rainbow cichlid. It's totally emaciated. Um, the fish only ever get in that condition if they totally lack nutrients and are in very poor water quality. And because there's absolutely no surface agitation across the top of the aquarium, um, I would assume the water quality is terrible. So these Texas are surviving, but they're very skinny. So there's a tangerine peacock. Got a pair of convicts which are breeding down the bottom but I mean convicts are always breeding Got like a couple of cobalt zebras albino convict the peacock so it's all looking pretty sad in there at the moment as far as I know, the light doesn't even work. So the Kadanga there as well. So what I'll do is um, install another couple of filters, internal filters, because there's no room for anything else. I will um, install some oxygen, and I'll make sure that there's heaps of surface agitation at the top, heaps of oxygen. Um, this guy there's got a bit of a crooked mouth. I'll chuck some new fish in it, I'll get the lights working and I will redecorate the tank with heaps of m new fake plants so it's all bright and colourful and sometime next week I'll have this tank looking beautiful so when the little sick kitties at St George Hospital um, want to forget about being sick for a few minutes then this should help them out. These kids absolutely love watching the fish. <laughs> so I'll have this tank looking good in no time at all. Yeah, then I don't know, passes, then I have to get the new passes.